You know what we need? I mean, besides bread. We need a woman to appreciate what we have to offer. Freddie Shoot loves to cut class, hates to do homework, lives for summer vacation. But Freddie, you're a semi-charming guy and a real snappy dresser. You're just not the kind of guy I date anymore. Yeah, what kind of guy you date now? Oh, the kind who wears socks. And the only reason he hasn't been expelled yet is because he's the gym teacher. Oh, Mr. Shoop. At Oceanfront High. Congratulations. You've been chosen to teach summer school. No, I'm not a real teacher. That's all right. These aren't real students. They're unmotivated, irresponsible, not too bright. They'll relate to you. You in this class, too? Mm-mm. I'm teaching them. No way! Right off the bat, you've shown who's in charge. Hmm? Please take your seats. Where should we take them? Who is in charge? I recommend this time a pass. You're going to do well, Jerome. I can feel it. I've seen some of your students. Very scary. <laughs> There's a very valid reason for summer vacation. The human brain needs rest. I know you guys aren't exactly fired up about English, but we're stuck here. We're trapped like rats. <laughs> Tension breaker had to be done. Mark Harmon. You need an intelligent, sensitive man who can skate. Kirsty Allen. Do you know such a guy? Oh, they're hard to find. In the Oceanfront High Summer School Class of 87. They're as smart as you and me. You and I. All of us. Paramount Pictures presents a new film by Carl Reiner. Summer School. I love this film. It had passion, plucky spirit. Dave, I agree with you. Thumbs up from me. Same here. To sum it up, I'm Chainsaw. I'm Dave. We'll see you at the movies. Hello everyone and welcome to episode 33 of the Video Rangers Podcast. I'm Mike Spinaco, sitting beside me is Chris Dietz. Say hello Chris. Hello everybody and uh, we, today's movie is Summer School. Just gonna jump right in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 1987. Yeah, this little forgettable movie. <laughs> there's not many movies about Summer School. I don't think there's any that I can think of. Some that look like they were shot during the summer because there's like fucking 20 students on the whole campus. So, uh, you ever been to summer school, Mike? Yep, once. Never go again. It's awful. It's like fucking five hours a day or Isn't something that like long? that. I don't remember. I went once and that was it. I was like in 10th grade. I had to go for social studies and I said, nah, I'm not going. Like, I failed. And I took remedial social studies the next year. <laughs> I was, now, listen, I don't uh, say like I'm the, the smartest person, but I was in like the room full of idiots <laughs> and, that, and a waste of my time. <laughs> It did nothing for me. <laughs> and like the teacher spoke really slow when she asked a question. She was like, okay, students, um, do you know anything about the new deal? Please tell me they did not talk like that. She talked a little slow, like, <laughs> like you know, we're half retarded. And I, hey, you're kind of right. And I don't raise my hand a lot. I felt like I had to raise my hand because like if no one knows some of these like very easy questions... I'm going to feel stupid. <laughs> like, I got to answer this. this uh, you know, my, inte- my own integrity. Room full of morons. <laughs> I went for math, so people were... You had a whole mixture of people in there. So today's movie is Summer School. It was released on July 22nd, 1987 as a rating, rating of PG-13. A runtime of an hour and 37 minutes. A budget of we don't know and a gross of $35 million. A Carl Reiner film. Yeah, One of two summer movies released by <laughs> Carl Reiner. It's got its moments. Also did uh, Summer Rental. He did Summer Rental? Yeah, that's him. We almost did Summer Rental. And we'll probably do it before the summer's <laughs> over. <laughs> probably. <laughs> so the tagline for the movie is, at Oceanfront High, what do they call a guy who cuts classes, hates homework, and lives for summer vacations? Teacher. Oh. Yeah. It's a terrible tagline. It's pretty bad. Tagline's supposed to be straight and to the point. That was dumb. <laughs> you know? like Should have been like, summer school. Fuck. 
Yeah. <laughs> That's what every kid thinks. Fuck! <laughs> so the plot of the movie is a high school gym teacher has big plans for the summer, but is forced to cancel them and teach remedial English. And that's it. Yeah. That's that's it. That's that's the movie. The end. So it's Dangerous Minds in Dangerous Summer minds. School. <laughs> Dangerous Minds. Not late Dangerous Minds. It's Stand and Deliver in Summer School. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> Mark Harmon stars as uh, Freddie Shoup, and you'll know him from NCIS. Yes, he, that show's been on almost as long as Law & Order. Yeah. It's a little annoying, to be honest with you. I tried watching it. Somebody's watching but it. But you know what's going to fucking happen. It's, yeah. go, it's crap. Does that show have Christy Alley in it? Uh, she was in an episode. Um, Makes sense. And I think um, she died of obesity. <laughs> and they found I the, can't tell if you're joking or not. And they found the culprit was KFC. <laughs> the colonel. <laughs> the colonel's killed more people than the fucking Germans. <laughs> <laughs> the colonel is a devious <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel's a be- Colonel will get you. Oh fuck! You, you love him, but you hate him. Cry tears of joy oh, and hate, fuck. hateful tears. But Christy Alley is in this movie. She is in this movie. Fresh off the set of Cheers. Fresh off. <laughs> <laughs> she probably actually just joined Cheers around this yeah, time. Yeah, right around when Shelley Long left, I think. Um, yeah. Yep. And you'll also know her from Look Who's Talking. Oh, Look Who's Talking fame. Right. It's what held John Travolta up. Yeah, that and, those, and that. those those bad years. Yeah, because I mean Look the, ex- the expert wasn't paying the bills. All oh, the experts made him a ton of money. What are you talking about? <laughs> Look at his hair in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> so the movie opens up with the entire school counting down the minutes till summer vacation, and Mr. Shoop is just. You know, he's his whole gym class is fucking just going. Yeah, they're going nuts, going they're, crazy, they're going and he's the, the cool thing. teacher. He lets the students grade their own, grade themselves. He basically does nothing. He yeah. just cruises through his classes. I, I mean, he's the gym teacher. I mean, that's isn't that what they all fucking do? I like him. Who wouldn't? Yeah, he's cool as shit. He's yeah. the coo- I, I've had teachers that were pretty chill too. Yeah, and, I, and they didn't teach math or anything. They you know taught like different you know. Things you can kind of get away with, but uh, you know, like graphic arts, you know, shit like that. Music, yeah. yeah. Where it's just like, Keyboarding. whatever. I got this awesome job. You know, do what you want. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> Doesn't fucking matter. The, the keyboarding teacher. I always like those, like those classes like that. They could put anything in the book. No, yeah. any teacher can just put hash you. Like, what is your integrity? Who gives a shit? Like, I like this kid. Pass him. <laughs> My one teacher. And like English class, like she passed me, and at the beginning of the year, she says, "You're gonna f- like." There's a speech you have to do, and there's a, a research paper you got to do, and that's like eighty percent of your grade. And but she was a big Yankee fan, so was I. And she talked, she talked about the Yankees, and you know, you talk back to her, and she'd like it. I got like a fifty-five on my speech and failed my research paper. I passed with like an eighty. Nice, so, you know. <laughs> I think I failed the class strictly because I was a Met fan once possible yeah because we were in the heyday of the yankees in the late 90s and i was like fucking teacher oh yankee she had yankee shit all over her walls and it was just like found out oh you're a med fan oh god leave me alone you know it's hard enough i don't need you fucking breaking my ball you get paid to babysit kids for christ's sake all right anyway the the school's waiting to uh to leave for some countdown is the last day of school uh and certain students are be being rounded up for uh, a little bit of a a meeting about how like they're gonna go to summer school, yeah. Because they all failed their fucking English skills test and they have to go for a summer school. And there's another teacher who's playing the lottery. Just see him. He's scratching off ticket after ticket. Yeah, and he fucking busts in the office and he's just like, "Fuck you! I won fifty grand. I quit." Gills, Kelvin, I did it. I did it. Look at this puppy. Fifty thousand big ones. You know what this means? No summer school. Wait a minute. You gave me your word. That was the old word. My new one is money. A man of your integrity would let a mere 50 grand weaken his commitment to education? I have seen lesser men win millions in the lottery go right back to bussing tables. They're friggin' morons! <laughs> let me out of here! Let me out of here! Peace, motherfucker. Yeah, I ain't doing summer school. <laughs> so the fucking assistant principal is the one who's going to be like the principal for he's, summer he's school. He's running summer school, yeah. Yeah, so he's got to find a replacement, and he's in the parking lot, and he's fucking flagging trying everybody to talk down. To, the old teachers are driving the fuck out yeah. of there. Like, fucking, uh, the place is on fire. 
and, yeah, and like uh, he, he almost gets run over half the time. Um, our our main character, Mark Harmon. Mark Harmon, yeah. Uh, for some reason, him and his girlfriend are packing in luggage the parking lot in the parking lot at the school. <coughs> doesn't make excuse me. Doesn't make a whole lot of fucking sense. There's a few scenes like this. Yeah. Um, like who packs in the the dog's there too. Why is the dog there? The dog's there. It Why doesn't. Is the dog yeah. there? I mean, like, yeah. How long is he going to Hawaii for? I have no idea. The whole summer? I guess. He has a surfboard. He's got a shitload of fucking luggage. And why are they doing it in the parking lot? So, of course, I don't, I don't, they can't get out of there sense. in time. Why wouldn't, wouldn't they already be in the car, the yeah. luggage? But, he doesn't live at the school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he fucking tells him, he's like, listen, you fucking, you're fucking you going to teach summer school because you don't have tenure. You and need, if you want it. You're, you need, you're for tenure Blah, yeah. blah, you know, plot movie bullshit. Which um, is crazy, because, and Mark Hartman makes a quality argument here. He's like, I'm a fucking gym teacher. I'm not qualified yeah, to yes. teach English. Yes. Uh, and I'm certainly not qualified to teach English to people that are struggling in the subject. Even, even a better argument. Mr. Shoop. Oh, Mr. Shoop. Congratulations. You've been chosen to teach summer school. Ah, oh, shoot. If only I'd known sooner. We're going to Hawaii. May I remind you, Mr. Shoop, you're up for tenure. You want a job next year? Oh, come on, Mr. Gills. Look, we got lays on and everything. You'll be teaching remedial English. Remedial English? Look, I ain't no English teacher. See? Double negative. No, I uh, hand out basketballs, check for jock straps. I'm, like, very challenged. No, I'm not a real teacher. That's all right. These aren't real students. They're unmotivated, irresponsible, not too bright. They'll relate to you. I appreciate that. And then his girlfriend goes to Hawaii without him. Yeah, she takes the tickets and he has to drive her to the airport. And you will never see her again. And goodbye. It is fucked up though, man. The guy's, he, he's clearly ready to leave for vacation. <laughs> you would never do this. Yeah, I don't think it works like this. No. Most teachers are lined up around the block to try to get uh, teach at summer school. Yeah. Because they already get paid the whole year. Whether they do it, um, they either get paid... Month uh, like a yearly, a week to week, or you know, every every two weeks, where they can get just the, the eight or nine months, and then not get get a check. There's a couple ways that they do it, yeah. But they're looking for a job. It just tax on that much more money, especially in our state where teachers are actually paid pretty well, for the most part. Yeah, well, depending on your school district, I guess. But uh, you know, whatever. That's movie stuff. So yeah, he got his, you know he has to be in there somehow. I mean, they they could have made something actually. Better, but whatever. Yeah. It's it's what it is. You know, is. we should have referred to the guy, uh, one of the guys over at uh, Good Times, Great Movies, because they are a teacher. Oh, really? And they re- they did this movie, and, oh. they, and I was talking to them, and they said that this was the reason that uh, became a teacher. I know plenty of people who I think are re- fucking retarded who are teachers. I know a couple. I know at least a couple. Yeah, like you're a fucking teacher. I know a couple you're that are idiot. really good in in the subject. I guess that they're teaching, which made me really think but, about my teachers and why they were there. And you can and think back. You could tell who is a real like who, who who's got a four year degree in you know fucking like uh, biology, and who's just a fucking dope. Yeah, <laughs> biology would be tough though to fake that. Well, no, you can't yeah. fake that. I mean, that, that means you definitely you're a teacher. Yeah. You fucking you know you have to go through yeah. uh, and actually get a real education instead of like the bullshit teaching. Some of the, I mean, it's, you know, if you're teaching high school at least, because I mean, no, elementary school is fucking. I'm sorry, but it's babysitting. Yeah, you're you're only developing their skills for later. Really. In life. So they're not doing anything. If you can't, if you can't learn division <laughs> and fucking multiplication, you might just give the fuck crazy. up. I want to see you sit in front of a classroom with thirty kids and see how that goes for you. Uh, listen, I, I know, <laughs> I, I know, I'm going off the deep end here, but I mean, um, we lost like ten subscribers. Probably, probably. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I, I hate when like on my Facebook feed. One of the teachers goes, "Oh, I can't. It's snowing. I hope we get off tomorrow." Like, you fucking scumbag. Go fucking teach it, dirtbag. Oh, dude. I, 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 I like when uh, you get the people where like, like they don't close school because it snowed, and yeah, they're, they're oh, talking about the road conditions oh, and, and all, the children. Oh, they're all huffing and puffing about it. Like, get the fuck out of here. You, you know. Oh god. You, bare, you have every fucking holiday, every snow day, the whole summer, and you don't do shit. <laughs> So, uh, 
Mark Hammond's forced to teach summer school. <laughs> <laughs> and we get a big introduction. Um, like, who the fuck does this? Okay, so that's the other thing. Summer school starts the next fucking day. Yeah. Sure. Why not? Um, and then you get the big, you know, every time someone, you know, like, oh, is so-and-so here? They have to stand up. And like, like, you know, like, like it's a karate fight. You know what I mean? Like if it was a fighting movie. They'd probably do something like this. Like one guy would break a brick. Like, oh, it's Kung, you know, it's Kung Pao over there. <laughs> and he breaks a brick and there's Stallone and he fucking punches a bag. <laughs> <laughs> These bad similes I got here. <laughs> it's terrible. Uh, you know, but I was like, like, yeah, okay, we get it. We got to introduce ourselves to the whole class. Well, he's got a little, uh, he's got their name and he's got a little biography. He's got about a profile on him somehow. Like, what? That doesn't happen. <clears throat> but you got a pregnant chick, you got a... And she stands up. Yeah. And you can hear, the, she, she pats her belly and you can hear the fucking hollowness on it. <laughs> yeah. It's just, you, it you, makes it like a drum noise. You've got a fucking nerdy kid who is uh, the worst student out of all of his brothers and sisters. They're all A students. He's an idiot. It's just every character. You've got the jock that that needs to study more. You've got the surfer chick who doesn't care. You've got the two movie buffs that don't care about school but are probably gonna have to go to school, so they probably should. Dude, there's learn. delinquents. Yeah, one guy who says that the computer got it wrong. He's got like the best two jokes in the whole movie. Oh yeah, giant, giant, uh, large, very large man, and he, you know goes to the bathroom. Yeah, <laughs> you don't see him ever again. Oh no. wait, you see him in six weeks. Yeah, <laughs> takes the test. But it's just like you would never have like somebody that's not an English teacher teach English, especially like writing skills. And You'd like... be surprised they do do this. I know when when they're when they're short teachers. I saw uh, I saw like some news documentary on it, and like they got the gym teacher teaching math, and they're and they're and they're uh, they're watching the class, the newsroom, the news, uh, the reporter or something, and like they're going back like and those all these math problems are wrong. He's teaching them. It's fucking hilarious. Yeah, man. I would think like because they're so short on teachers because they pay shit in like Alabama. Yeah, you know they're fucked. <laughs> they're just fucked from the get go. <laughs> teaching them wrong information. That's why I would think you wouldn't want to do that. Hand, but uh, hand, remember those teachers just hand packets out. Like how lazy is that? They just do this. Oh Christ. <laughs> Like you can't wait to just fucking start eating, you fats. <laughs> I don't even know who you're talking about. I don't know where I'm about. going. <laughs> I'm going on a tour. You know, I don't know. You know what? Let's just move on. Let's talk about the movie. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, he introduces himself to the class, and they're just, like, fucking with him. His car keys are missing. They're playing a game of hot and cold. It's like every other He's movie you've punch seen. punch these fucking kids. Yeah, well, they're a little obnoxious, but it's like every other movie you've seen where, like, these kids don't want to learn and then they get that teacher that makes them want to fucking learn and like really they just need somebody to relate to <laughs> but really he's like, he's, he's like the coolest guy and coolest teacher in school though you know he's a gym yeah. teacher like everyone would know it yeah but he's the coolest teacher because he doesn't give and a they shit. still fuck with him yeah I know. You, know, you know what i mean you know what? i remember i had some gym teachers too and you didn't fuck with the gym teacher they'd grab you and slam you against the fucking locker yeah. <laughs> If you fucking, like, yeah. like, try to really fuck with them. Those guys they were didn't mean. fucking play around. No, we had a gym teacher that beat a kid up. Yeah, we did. Yeah. You heard the punches from miles away. All right, we had a couple gym teachers that beat people yeah. up, actually. <laughs> he looked like he looked like Mr. Oh, Spacely yeah. from the Jetsons. Yeah, he did. Um, he slapped the shit out of some kid. And Mr. Busey. Yeah. But not the other. There was two Mr. Buseys. The other one, I think it was his brother or his cousin. He beat the shit out of someone. Yeah. <laughs> Did he throw a ball at his face? Or yeah, something? basically what the happened kid. was uh, they, he was collecting all the balls, and one kid wouldn't give the ball up, and yeah. the fucking kid threw the ball, hit him in the face. And it, if you've ever been hit in the face with a basketball, you're immediately mad. Yeah, you. <laughs> he just reacted. Yeah. Not it's not like a dodgeball. I'm not ball. saying he's right, but I dude, I think could I, see it happen. I don't know how you not hit someone who yeah. just smashed a basketball in your face. No, no, no. Um, that's I've had a basketball smashed into my stomach, and I fucking was pissed. Yeah. I, w- I fucking threw my friend in the bush. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But, so, so fucking Christy Alley plays a teacher in the school that uh, apparently does not know the other teacher that works in the school. Which yeah, is I don't know weird. if we missed something. It's like she doesn't know anyone. because There's know a lot of is. that. There's a lot of stuff that doesn't make... Um, and 
She, Mr. Shoop is into her, but she's dating the dickhead vice principal. He kind of looks like, he reminds me of Steve Carell a little bit. Yeah. He's a more poindexter Steve Carell. Yeah. Um, and definitely not as funny. No. Um, but, <laughs> so we've, we've got a little bit of a love triangle. So here. yeah, now we got the little, uh, you know, they got to go for the girl. And now each student has like their own set of problems. So I'm going to just guess that uh, Mr. Shoop is going to fix these problems as the movie goes on. Well, it is a movie, so we got an hour and a half to fix them. Yeah. Like a TV sitcom where we got 30 yeah. minutes. Like, one girl can't drive. And he fixes them all. You know, and fucking, she's dyslexic. Yeah. Things like that. <laughs> one guy, he's on the football team, but, you know, he's having a little bit of trouble tackling. So he needs to learn how to tackle. Well, he ends up bribing them uh, to let him teach them. Because eventually he has to. He, he, he takes. Oh, we're skipping ahead a little here because he takes them on before he even starts teaching. He just starts taking them on field trips because that's what they want to do. Yeah. Like they go to the fucking like they go to like Action Park. Yeah. <laughs> fucking. They go to the beach. Yeah. They go to petting zoo. Like, petting zoo. It's part. You know. Then the, oh yeah, there's an Italian exchange student who uh, who's also in Austin Powers as a lot of vagina. A lot of vagina. Very beautiful girl. Also in Hard Bodies too. Just Google her up. I'm sure you'll find some images. And diplomatic immunity. Diplomatic immunity. I don't know what that is. Sounds Spin like off the lethal weapon. Yeah, uh, something along those lines. <laughs> uh, so eventually, he figures, I gotta teach him. I gotta teach him. How do I reach these keys? Well, he was forced How to. How do I reach these keys? <laughs> he was forced to because he had to fucking. Uh, the nerdy kid got sent, he went home with the the, oh, t- yes. the ticket stub in his yes. pocket, and his grandmother brought him in. And so he, he got found out that he was taking these kids. I love how they they go to these field trips. Where do they get a bus from? You don't just get buses to take you places. Has to go through a whole bureau, yeah. bureaucratic. Yeah, kind and, of thing. and you know when you get that bus for the field trip, you pay for you that pay bus. For that. Yeah, that would never happen. Yeah. Me, Never. I, yeah. Where is he getting the bus from? <laughs> it's one thing that they walk there, or he he had like a little bus to bring him in or something. Yeah, no. But no. He, he's got a fucking Ford Falcon. He's not going anywhere. <laughs> Can't take these kids here. <laughs> Ford Falcon. It's a beautiful car. And by the way, when the movie starts, there's a lot more students than at the end. There's like fucking yeah, a, a couple rows they, that are filled well, in the back. The first field trip they take is to the library. And like seven or eight kids kind of just walk the other way and you never yeah, see them again. Like, the fucking two kids, man, that are the film students that uh, one of them played uh, is Dean Cameron playing uh, Francis Chainsaw. You'll know him from Rockula. Yes, because everyone knows Rockula. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, the, the, the VHS bandits know Rockula. Oh. And he's just like, these guys, these two idiots are obsessed with Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which is fine, but. They don't seem to know what year the movie came out because in this they say they 73 wrong. and I think it's 74, but, but they do not stop talking about the, the whole fucking movie. We have to hear about their love for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, Anna Maria? See? Have you seen the movie um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre? No. It is good? Oh, I gotta tell you, I love this film. It had passion and a plucky spirit and, and the characters had integrity. Like when Leatherface went on that strict diet of human flesh, he had to cut out chicken and fish completely. Dave, I agree with you. I'll go a step further. Sure, Leatherface, he wore a mask made out of human skin and he hung people on meat hooks. But hey, we've all got quirks. I've got them. You've got them, Dave. That's what makes this character so, so compelling. Thumbs up from me. Same here. To sum it up, I'm Chainsaw. I'm Dave. We'll see you at the movies. (laughs) Yeah, they're fucking dweebs. Like these kids would have got beaten up. They're just annoying. Yeah, they're, they're really, really annoying. annoying. And they've got drinking problems. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. And you they're, go, they're 16 years old and they're getting drunk every day. <clears throat> but. Well, I mean, a lot of people did that. <laughs> my, but the biggest offender in this movie, the character I hate the most, is played by Courtney Thorne Smith, and she plays uh, Pam House. Now, do you hate her character or you just hate Courtney I don't Thorne like Smith? her. I don't like okay, her. I tell enough. you, the only movie I think I I can accept her in is Revenge of the Nerds Two: Trapped in Paradise. And you that's accept her I in can that? accept her in that because I just she's not bothering me. <clears throat> in this movie and everything else, she just bothers me. And you'll know her from Chairman of the Board. Is that board spelled B O R E D? 
I love how like he's telling them like that they fucking need to. Um, we got to teach you guys some stuff, and they're like, "Well, what do we get out of it? You want to be able to read and write, you fucking idiots?" I don't care what your files say. You guys are not that dumb. No, actually, Mister Shoop, those files are usually right on the money. You all feel that way? I do. I may as well go home. Mister Shoop, look, we don't want you to lose your job. <laughs> Think about what you're asking. You want us to study? The thought did cross my mind. Well, what's in it for us? What do we get out of it? Literacy? Oh, I'm sorry, I got that. Uh, so, so now that he's been forced to teach, he has to make sure every student fucking passes. The kids, like, they don't want to fucking do it, so they agree, basically, if he will grant them all, like, one favor or yeah. wish or whatever, that um, they'll study. Which this idiot fucking agrees to, and it's just kind of like... And all these kids, like, they say, oh, these they're are reasonable. Reason- they're reasonable. They're not. You think those are reasonable requests? A lot of them are. All right, the Lamaze uh, class thing, uh, fine. The driving fine. T- driving lessons? Fine. But let me host a fucking a underage party. party at your house. All right, that one, maybe not. Yeah. I mean, we've already had obscene gestures by Christy Alley. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, there's all Has kinds of... Has your teacher of- ever pretended to suck dick? In front of you? No. In front of a whole class? Yeah. That's what she does. Yeah. And she's supposed to be, like, a real teacher. Yeah. It's fucking crazy. There's sure. a lot of creepy things going on in this movie, man. <laughs> um, so Mark ha- Harmon, uh, shoop, is, uh, agree- agrees that he's going to do all this shit for these kids, and they are going to learn. And by gum do they learn. <laughs> <laughs> by gum? By gum? <laughs> Many, 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 many police officers. <laughs> That's what it sounded like when he said There'll be gum. many, many, many tests. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. The nerdy kid in this movie is a, is a bit much. Yeah. His voice is just... He's really fucking annoying. <laughs> yeah. There's way too many this characters. Is, I didn't got, want to write everybody's name down. He's got to be his biggest role. Like... Speaking wise, and all. And well, movie. he's got a ton of credits, but it's all voice work. Yeah, he's, so, well, he's, yeah. you know, he does the nerdy guy and some, you know, SpongeBob yeah. and probably lots of other things. Head of the class. Yeah. He was in Head of the Class? I think one episode. Yeah. I'm sure he was in Saved by the Bell. He looks familiar. I mean, he's familiar. You definitely would know him. He's <laughs> been in probably lots of commercials as a nerdy kid in a commercial. Yeah. If we were a better show, we would have wrote down the names. <laughs> You don't need to know his name, because you're just going to forget it. He's a nobody. No, the people that listen to the show are diehard fans. <laughs> He's a nobody. That's, why, that's, that's the reason why we don't write everyone's name now, because you're not... Who cares? I don't care about his name. I'm not going to remember it. What if you want to Google him later? Then I'll look up this movie and find out. If you really want to know, you can find out. That's just too simple. <laughs> because if we tell... Okay, we tell the people his name is fucking Brian Smith. All right, and then it's like, okay. You know what his name is? Richard Stephen Horvitz. Okay, I'm never going to forget that name. <laughs> but So, so uh, our teacher, Mr. Shoop, strikes out with Christy Alley again. But um, she did help him learn. Te- she, she taught she, him how to teach. <laughs> in, in fucking in an hour and a half. Yeah. And now he's, he is like kind of teaching. Well, he, I suppose he, he did. He did start off with a pretty solid method, like where he tells him, like you know, if you can learn how to read and write, you can get free stuff. Yes. By like, let's say you get a broken pair of sunglasses, you can write a letter to that corporation that and you're get, yes. dissatisfied, and that kind of a thing. And that works. Yeah, no, that works. If I bitch to Nabisco that my Oreos so sucked, get, you I might, might get just a, get some coupons. But yeah, yeah you let me get some cookies too. <clears throat> Maybe I get a whole whole year's worth. Of so he's he's teaching and he's doing his favors, teaching kids how to tackle, <laughs> teaching Denise how the to hijinks, fucking drive. The hijinks continue here. Is this some kind of sick, twisted joke? Nope. Combining Denise's driving lesson with your ride to the beach. Come on, get in. We took driver training with Denise. Call us a cab. Get your grizzly butts in the car. And let me drive. I'm going for my license next week. Chainsaw. You've been drinking. No, it's cough medicine. Check out this phlegm. <coughs> Save the phlegm. You're not driving anywhere. I'll tell you something, and this is fact. You know why so many drunk drivers get in wrecks? Because they don't learn to drive drunk. Fact. 
Alcohol kills brain cells. You lose one more, you're a talking monkey. <laughs> that, that, this oh, is funny. actually kind of funny, though. There's another car coming in the opposite direction, so she pulled over. <laughs> Why'd you pull over? The car coming. Yeah. <laughs> and but now, the 4th so of July party. They have the party. Oh, and there's one kid who, who has interest in the pregnant girl. Yeah, and that the, shit's creepy. And the funniest thing... Yeah, because they go to the petting zoo. the petting zoo... There's he's looking at a cow and a little calf comes down and starts drinking milk from the from the from the cow, and then he looks at her who's pregnant. And he's like, "What? He a, yeah. Maybe he's got a fetish or something." Like he got really turned on when that calf was sucking on them udders, man. <laughs> and then like at the party, he's just sitting on the beach in the sand talking to her. Like, what's it like being pregnant, man? It seems far out. <laughs> Can I? Can I touch your fucking belly, man? I really like your paternity clothes. Yeah. They're hot. <laughs> Bet your boobs weigh a ton. All that <laughs> milk slushing around in there. Like a walking waterbed, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I've been taking survival classes. Want to come to the desert with me? <laughs> Jeez, they got this nerdy kid, like, throwing up, like, half the fucking movie. Yeah, he goes on a ride. He throws up. He goes to the party. He drinks too much. He throws up. He's got a queasy stomach. So, uh, the surfer girl, Courtney Thorne Smith. Fucking Pam. Uh, Fuck she, you, Pam. I don't know. It's kind of strange. She kind of. It seems like she has a crush on the teacher. Yeah, but she's creepy. Leave him alone. Very, she's got to know this is she wrong. She's weird. She's supposed to be like hippy dippy a little bit. Like, oh, spiritual because yeah. she's a surfer. And Which is fine, but comes off I just stupid. don't buy it from her. You know who I hear her? I actually like better than her. Who's that? Natalie. You like Natalie? From, I like uh, Natalie from Facts of Life. Facts of Life. Better than her. <laughs> Mike does not like Natalie. No, I'm not a fan he of Natalie. Says, Fuck Natalie. Yes. Many times in our the Christmas facts, special. In our Facts of Life Christmas special. Natalie episode. made me hate her on Christmas. <laughs> You're supposed to love everybody hey, at oh, Christmas. Come on. Natalie lost her virginity. She was the only one brave enough to do it. Natalie had and balls. She wasn't even a real actor. She just was a, she was actually just a kid at the school. Just when a they chunky were, monkey. When they were checking out the schools, just kinda of get a feel for it. Yeah. She was just a kid who went that school and, like, and just acted and they, like herself. And then uh, yeah. they wanted her to be on the show. Isn't that amazing? I actually really kinda of don't hate Natalie, but she does annoy the shit out of me. This bitch I can't fucking stand. That's why she's in a movie with Carrot Top, because she sucks. <laughs> So the party gets Very a little crazy. Uh, yeah, there's lots of people here. There's lots. There's alcohol. Uh, this one of the stupid kids who likes makeup and shit uh, throws fireworks. And of course, the, uh, Mark Harmon has a dog, a very sweet dog, who returns returns his fireworks. Yeah. And the couch, the couch is on fire. Uh, party's over. But he does. He was prepared. He was safe. He had a very large fire extinguisher. He, yeah, he had put a like, house out with that thing. He had like a stuntman fire extinguisher. Like yeah. if if someone's on fire, you put that. Like yeah. three guys with that extinguisher put them out. I love how he's putting the fire out and then the dipshits th- pour the fucking fish. Yeah, tank. they kill his fucking fish. Assholes. And these idiots are alcoholics. Yeah, they're they're ro- raging alcoholics to be sixteen years old and drinking this much. And drinking. They're liquor. drinking on the beach. Making with screwdrivers and the police show up and basically Drinking screwdrivers, screwdrivers, <laughs> and basically Mr. Shoop takes the rap for him and yeah. goes to jail in roller skates and swim shorts. What a guy! <laughs> I would have let these kids fucking fry. Hell yeah, man! Because <laughs> they're fucking dipshits. <laughs> they always really bite your ass, right, man? <laughs> this guy, because you know. He's going to lose his job. Sir, dude, providing alcohol to a minor. A charge like beach. that for a teacher is probably like a death sentence yeah. for your for your career. Which, honestly, you the differences between 1987 and 2017. Like if, you, if you got in trouble, like assault, like let's say you hit a kid in the 80s, you might be able to move to another school and still teach. I, Depending. I, I mean, there's a... In 1987, if my teacher fucking pulled my hair, my mom would have been like, what did you do? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like, yeah. Because my mom, and I'm sure your parents grew up the same way. My, my mom grew up in, in Queens. So yeah. she went to a, ca- a private school, and they got beat with rulers on their on their knuckles. It was like a loud man. Yeah. It was just loud. Crazy. But it is funny how Mark Harmon is in prison. He gets rolled into the cell because he's, he's got yeah, no shirt on. comical. And he's got some roller skates on. 
<laughs> he gets... He's got maybe the worst outfit other than wearing nothing. Oh, yeah. To be going to prison. Uh, <laughs> and he, he asks the, the guy, the bailer or whatever, as he's walking in, he's like, do you got like a, a prison for beginners? <laughs> you know, a cell for cell. <laughs> That's pretty funny. But he calls Christy Alley, who's about to go on to the wine country with the dickhead. Uh, and Which is another amazing thing that she actually showed up to get him. Well, was she going to let him rot? She don't know him that well. I'd probably get him, though. I mean, like, he had no one else to call. I mean, apparently, they, yeah. They had to involve. I mean, Listen, it's a movie. Of course, they're going to call people. Who are there in the wasn't movie. a big call, enough budget in this movie to give him friends. In real life, you're not calling her. Yeah. Are you calling the person you've talked to six times to get you out of jail? <laughs> Probably not. I don't know why he doesn't have any friends. I know his girlfriend went to Hawaii without him, but this is ridiculous. The only friend is the dog. Yeah, and that fu- Yeah, it's like fucking Riggs from fucking Leave the Weapon. All he's got is the dog. It is kind of like that a little bit. <laughs> you like my analogy? <laughs> what were you doing? We're, right. doing? we're doing English humor now? Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, so right. here's a very... Now, let, can we talk about something that has yes. nothing to do with anything? Yes, I don't understand Thank this part. All right, so... The one kid that's been falling asleep in class the whole we time. We already mentioned him, but yeah, he sleeps yeah. the whole time. So, <clears throat> out of nowhere, we go from this depressing scene of eating peanut butter and jelly, to, with, and your jelly with your finger and disgusting to a male strip club, and Mark Harmon is there. It's not explained. We don't know why he's mm-hmm. there. It's obvious that the guy dancing is his student. Yeah. But whole, I don't know why he's here. I, I don't no know if there's a deleted scene or they just yeah. said people will forget as soon as they start talking why he's there yeah. to each other. You know what I mean? It and makes, that kind of does happen. Yeah. You know, if you ever notice a lot of movies, you don't realize why some people are in spots. They don't explain it. It's the weirdest thing because it's, <clears throat> it's not like he showed up there thinking it was regular night or something. Girl yeah, he went to the stripper and was like, oh, even if he did, he'd probably turn right around. Yeah, he's just there. <laughs> But, it's almost like, yeah. Yeah, um, maybe he's gay. He's been chase, he's chasing trans? Christy Alley the whole time. Maybe he's bi. He was roller skating. He was, he was roller, roller skating. Roller skating. While listening to Sticks. <laughs> he can like both men and women. He can. It's, it's a, You know, he can do what you want. He's a progressive teacher. He's very progressive. Um, yeah, <laughs> very progressive. I like how the, the kids go, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? And like... No, what are you doing here? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here? Did you come to see my show? Because that's Are you sick, looking for man. a job? Maybe maybe he was looking for a job. He's in maybe, a suit. Maybe he needed a job. He's in a suit. Like, he's maybe a job Oh, interview. that's awesome. I hope There is some explanation, because why is he in a suit? He's in. A, he's not in an uptight suit. He's in more of like a little flashy, flashier kind of suit, like yeah. a car salesman suit a little bit. There is probably some deleted scene, or not. Maybe they just got lazy and don't care. Yeah, but it's funny because the kid's working there. He's underage. Whatever. Like yeah. 87. You could beat your kids. You could strip for 15. Yeah. Um, so the next scene, you've got uh, Mr. Shoop is teaching kids. They're, they're all reading their essays. And you've got the fucking two morons with their, I need to write 100 words. I'm going to repeat the fucking one word 100 times. Yeah, pretty much. Fucking dicks. Who we admire most in the world and why? The person we admire most in the world is makeup artist and creature creator Rick Baker. His wonderfully gruesome slime bladders and slobber tubes in American Werewolf in London won him a richly deserved Oscar. That is why we admire makeup artist and creature creator Rick Baker very, 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 very much. It's 100 words on the nose. You can count if you want. So there's one every character. Every kid hasn't done that. Very, no, yeah, very, all... very, 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 But as an adult, much. it's like, you dumb kid. <laughs> um, now, there's one person that hasn't gotten her wish granted yet. Courtney and... Thorne Smith. Girl I hate. Surf girl. Um, and her wish is to live with Mr. Shoot. Yep. Which is fucking psychotic. And why he agrees to it. You know, it's not like, you know... It's not like when Rose, uh, the uh, the Roseanne's family took in David, uh-huh. you know, because it was like legitimate, like, hey, we need to take this fucking kid in. It's not like abusive when parents. Mr. Foreman took in fucking Hyde, uh-huh. fucking, where this it was is... like dire straits. They don't know. He doesn't barely know this fucking girl. It's like two weeks 
of teaching. Yeah, it's not like he has a wife and it like shit looks all on the level. He's just helping somebody out. This no, looks that's like... what he's doing. He's, he's just helping her out. Yeah, that's... which his intentions are good, but to the outside world, what, what are you doing, Mister this... Shoop? <laughs> doing Mister Shoop? What yeah. are you doing, Mister Horton? Yeah, <laughs> it's some bike bike shop you got there, Mister <laughs> Shoop. <laughs> so next scene, we go to. <laughs> uh, one of the wishes was to watch the Texas Chainsaw Massacre in class. So that's what they do. Mm. He does at least say, hey, we're going to watch it and you're going to write a review on it. Which, uh, it's like cinnamon lit. It's got something to do with English. It's fine. Man, they love this fucking movie. <laughs> I like it too, but Jesus Christ. It's not Back to the Future. Few things are. Isn't there any, there's not many things that are Back to the Futures. It's not Meatballs too. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Clockers. You ever see Clockers? Yeah. Raise your sack. It's not reality bites. Oh, we got a shipment of glasses. So uh, he wrote for his uh, free glasses about his broken glasses, and he got a whole box of sunglasses. Of 80s glasses? It worked! Yeah. Hooray. And why not pair a pair of 80s sunglasses with a zebra pattern tight outfit? Yeah, she looks like a stripper. Yeah. Or a slut or a prostitute. Dressing like that to school. I don't think you could get away with it. That. that would probably be very expensive, too. I would imagine the spandex was very expensive Stuff like in 1987. That, like, fashionable. Yeah. Like, they made it expensive. You know, obviously, it was cheap to make, but it's probably expensive. Yeah. It's stylish. Oh, the guy with the uh, pregnant uh, girl fetish is back, and they're they're going to be partners at Lamaze class. <laughs> yeah, the... Oh, man, this fucking movie. It's just fucking... <laughs> it's just weird. <laughs> I actually don't really... I I, I didn't like the movie I, a whole I, lot. I, I, I like this movie. Uh, I think there's, like, um, a lot of problems with it. Mm-hmm. Like, when you really start thinking about why certain things are going on, it you kind of drive yourself crazy. It's just a throwaway movie. I don't um, know. It, I remember it being it, a bigger it, deal, it, though, when I was a I, kid. Yeah, I remember enjoying it a lot more. Probably because I, I was going at school because you were still. Kid. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's, it's all right. It's not terrible, terrible. Like, but it's, like I said, it's got problems and it's, it's, it misses on a lot of things. I mean, I don't like Dean Cameron at all. No, I don't, I don't like, like a lot of people in the movie. I feel like this is kind of movie where like Hollywood miss every cast, everyone, every cast character almost was like, it was like six or three or four people they wanted. Yeah. And they had, to, they had to settle for this person, settle for that person, settle for this one. It's like, all right, we've got a, re- we need to fill a remedial English class with, with a bunch of remedial actors. <laughs> the only, the only chick that's like, I, there's two characters in here though that are like in a lot of shit, like as far as the kids go, mm-hmm. and it's the chick from uh, People Under the Stairs, and Spanish girl. She, I think she's Spanish and black. I'm not, I'm not sure. Yeah, she, well, um, she speaks and, some Spanish accent. And uh, fucking the dude from Beetlejuice and Under Siege and the guy that gets up and goes to the bathroom. Oh, Jerome. Yeah, he plays one of the football yeah. guys in Beetlejuice. Dwayne Davis, I think yeah. his name is. Um, mm. Yeah, I mean, he's a character actor. Yeah, but I've seen him in a bunch of stuff. Mm-hmm. He's in uh, Necessary Roughness and yep. a couple other things. Um, so Denise is, is taking her driver's test. in, in her, For like the 10th time. In her fabulous outfit. But this time... It's all clicking. She's firing on all cylinders. She yeah. she parallel parks like the Dickens. She nails it. <laughs> she nails the the park and uh, chainsaw. Dean Cameron. Dean Cameron. <laughs> Francis. Terrible person. Um, basically, he's just a dick to the teacher, the uh, the driving instructor. He fails. He's an the, asshole. It's his fault. He fails the test because he's being a fucking jackass. Yeah. Like, it's a fucking joke. The whole thing's a joke. Yeah. He's a total asshole. Seriously, your driving test is, what, 12 minutes total? Like, you, right? 15 minutes. Yeah. 20 minutes total. All you gotta do is just be a normal person for he's a like couple... joking around with the guy, yeah. and, and... He's, he's just such a, he's just a, a dickhead. And it's like, yeah, I get it. It's a movie. You can't just... You're not gonna play it straight, I guess. But it's, you just hate him. That's you're why you hate him. You're supposed to be wacky, but, like, you're not... You know what the problem is? It's like, you get, you, you get a character like Spicoli... Mm-hmm. Who just plays it so fucking well, and then everybody else I feel is trying to do that, but they just suck at it. Yeah, every like yeah, slacker kid after that is just a bad imp- impersonation. At least Spicoli was stoned the whole time. What's this guy's excuse? 
He's drunk. But he hadn't drank all day for this oh, he test. Did say that. <laughs> he just did, he's just a total. He's a fucking asshole. <laughs> that's it. And that's why he's in Rocky. Definition. So he fucking uses uh, Mr. Shoop's car for his oh, yeah, fucking and test. He takes his bumper off. Yeah, and he takes the fucking bumper off. Again, teacher perfectly. I don't know cool. why he even likes this kid. Yeah. Um, I definitely see potential with him as far as his movie career. Because that seems to be the only thing he takes seriously. Like, their makeup job and shit is pretty fucking Yeah, weird. I mean... Yeah, they, um, do, they do a lot of, like, little, like, uh, yeah. makeup acts. Like, like someone got murdered and shit. And, they, you know... Thing with the really rabbits and shit. enthusiastic about that, obviously. Yeah, that's something they care about. So I could see where Mr. Shoop's coming from. Where it's like, <laughs> I see, see potential, potential in all these kids. Them. Yeah, And okay. school's not the end-all, be-all of fucking... No, it's not. You don't just, you, you know? don't even know fucking dates and fucking... Yeah. Years and shit. So, Mr. Shoop goes home, and his uh, oh, new roommate, trouble. girl I can't stand, um, is cooking dinner, and Christy Alley, Alley shows, shows by, and she's like, what the fuck is going on here? Yeah, I mean, she thinks the worst. As you would. Why wouldn't you? Yeah, but, well, it doesn't help. The- it's like their, their boyfriend and yeah. girlfriend here, they're married almost, she's making dinner. Doesn't help that casseroles. Pam is like acting a certain way too. Like basically says in front of her, uh, "You didn't tell me she was coming. I don't have enough food for everybody. <laughs> like, come by in the morning for breakfast." <laughs> you know? Yeah. I mean, what does that tell you right there? <laughs> um, but he and then he gives her like be, because uh, Mark Hammond is a surfer, he relates to her, mm-hmm. and he breaks. He, he basically t- lets her down easy. Using a bunch of surfing okay. analogies. You know how when you're on your board and you see the perfect wave rolling in and you think you got it? Mm-hmm. Only something happens and, and you don't get it. I mean, the key to the whole thing is timing. If you're even a little out of sync, you're grim, you're blowing the barrel, you're seaweed. But then you look outside and you see an even more perfect wave than the first perfect wave and that's the one you catch. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Surfing metaphors. You're the perfect wave and I'm seaweed. And if you want me out of your house, just say it. No, no, I'm not the perfect wave. It's not just that I want you out of my house. No, you want me out of your life. Yeah, it's really heavy stuff. Yeah. (laughs) So deep, man. Fucking God, man. (laughs) He's all right. (laughs) Oh, man. And if you know what movie that's from, <laughs> write on in, and I'll send you a DVD. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so then uh, we have the courtroom scene. He brings the whole class to, because he got, obviously, he was arrested earlier. I love when movies do this, when they bring the old, whole, everyone's there. Everybody comes to court, and they totally Everyone violate. in the movie is in the court. Oh, yeah. The and, fucking principal guy, the teeth of Christy Alley. And all the kids. And they violate every courtroom procedure ever fucking invented. Do the same thing in Wildcats. The whole fucking team shows up. Fucking... Football. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's... It, so the teacher's telling the judge, he's like, listen, it's not my alcohol. He basically dimes these kids out in court. Oh, well, he says, like, listen, this, these, these are asshole. troubled kids. I don't want them to get any more trouble. And I was like, yeah, well, they really are. They are fucking troubled kids. Yeah. They got fucking alcohol problems. And they're assholes. Yeah, and one of them's got a really bad fake ID. You were a black Marine in 1968? <laughs> yeah, Vietnam. Uh, a war puts a man through many, many changes. Young man, the possession of false identification and of alcohol by a minor are serious crimes. You've just confessed to both of them. I didn't mean to. However, since the arresting officers let you off with a warning, I'll probably do the same. And so he gets like character witnesses and like, oh, he's teaching really hard and I've never seen such improvement. Oh my goodness. And <laughs> nobody cares. No. Uh, oh, he gets off. Hooray. Of course he does because he's doing the right thing. <laughs> it's genuine. You know, no, he's... no, no. It's fine. I think any judge would probably let you off. Probably. Yeah. But um, a good you know a nice, a nice joy to it, Leo. But this creates a great opportunity. Not Judge Judy, um, because dickhead boyfriend, vice principal, and boss of uh, Mr. Shoop, uh, is berating him 
not knowing that Christy Alley is standing right behind him, and she finds out just what an asshole he is. He's two face. He's a two face. That's the end of their relationship. But when a relationship ends, a new one is shall begins. begin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Till I read my William Blake. <laughs> A little bit of an English reference there. Whoa! Whoa! Why don't we just do the old Dylan Dylan contest? That'll get him to learn. It's from Dangerous Minds. So the teachers, t- uh, Mr. <clears throat> Mr. Shoop, is telling the class that the test is only a few days away, and everybody needs to buckle down and start studying harder. And these selfish motherfuckers. <laughs> Demand more wishes. I want more wishes. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, these kids didn't see Darby O'Gill and the little people. Three wishes I'll grant you. Big big wishes are small. But if you wish a fourth one, you'll lose them all. Are we doing that for St. Patrick's Day? What do I, oh, I love that movie. I watch it every year. <laughs> Darby O'Gill and the little people. He quits, doesn't he? Yeah, well, he finally flips out. He throws the textbook at the He's fucking done blackboard. Um, he walks out. He quits. It's a simple matter of renegotiating our contracts. Renegotiate? Who do you think you are, Teamsters? Yeah, Teamsters! Strive! Yeah! Strive! Yeah. 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 Look, for the past four weeks, I have given up all of my free time. Had my body used for a tackling dummy, my house trashed, my couch set on fire, my goldfish murdered, my butt thrown in jail, and my car wrecked. All I'm asking for is a little extra effort. Dickhead vice principal is now in charge of teaching the class. It's going really well for him. Dean Cameron open opens accepts him with open arms. Yes, they start fucking with him. Man, that one dude, man, is just so into his pregnant girlfriend. It is fucking scary. You know? <laughs> That's why he doesn't act anymore. Yeah. <laughs> he just sucked. It's like, he's at home, and he's like jerking off to some fetish fucking pregnant magazine. <laughs> Do they have those in 87? They, I'm sure you could locate them. It might be yeah. difficult to find. I wouldn't, but like every fetish yeah. has a... Like, something real specific. Something for it, Something yeah. real specific, like or pregnant moms it. and their pom-poms. It's a cheerleading book. You know, like grandma <laughs> porn. Yeah. And you got like... Clown porn. Yeah, clown porn's hilarious. Midget porn. I've never actually seen it, but I watched an episode of Cheaters one time where... Um, did you yeah, see, have you seen, seen that, that episode? episode? Yeah. I think that episode's fake, personally. But yeah, fucking, it's phony. But holy shit, I'll never forget when I saw it because I was like stoned <laughs> out of my mind. And like fucking... <laughs> I'm watching it. And this guy goes to bust in the door. Like, oh, I catch my girlfriend with the cameras and everything. And he kicks the door open, and there's strobe, light, strobe lights and fucking people in masks. And when her girlfriend's chained to the bed, she can't move. She's like, what are you doing home, Harry? He's <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on in here? <laughs> I'm sorry, that one scene from Cheaters is better than this whole movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good. I like the one where he gets stabbed. That like really happened though, right? Yeah, he yeah. really did get stabbed. That one was a fake. The guy was on a fishing boat and he had like his fucking gut knife. <laughs> Holy shit, man. <laughs> so anyway, all right, back to summer school. So, back to summer. Uh, so the the, uh, the kids decide they're going to play a prank on their new they get asshole a new, teacher. They get a new teacher. Yeah. And about the, uh, the principal's Who's, introducing them. He's about to bring them to the class. So um, the movie guys with their special effects. Everyone's talents. in on it. Yeah, they do the they do like basically a whole House of Horrors kind of show. Yeah, and it's actually pretty good. This is one of the scenes that I like stands out to me when I think of this movie. Yeah, um, it is it is pretty decent. Don't go in there without a gun. It's terrible. Is this my classroom? Yes, it is. Whose blood is that? Is that your blood? No. You know, obviously the one teacher is freaking the fuck out. She's bad. But the principal is guy, like, just under- He knows it's... Oh... Prank. You pesky kids. Your blood and guts. 
I was with you there, Johnny. Knee deep in all that blood and guts. <laughs> Saving your ass is trying to be a fucking habit of mine. <laughs> Fucking love that movie. Man. <laughs> First Blood kicks ass, man. Uh, the Movie Madness guys uh, uh, podcast. We're talking about um, their top five Stallone movies, and each guy went through their top five. Mm-hmm. And it's so funny because if you start talking about your favorite Stallone movies, like it's kind of hard to pick them because they're all yeah. like kind of fun. And it was cool, like you know, like one guy's just like fucking going in on over the top. The other guy's like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" Yeah, <laughs> over the top. <laughs> fucking love over the top. You were in it. I wasn't over the top. <laughs> I learned how to drive, too. So. Yeah. It's a fun time. Sloan's a lot smaller in person. <laughs> <laughs> so, fucking, these kids, fucking, uh, you know, they were like, listen, we'll stop acting like this if you get us our teacher back. Now we gotta go get the teacher. Oh! Yay! Good, good. anyway, he's gonna get fired and after you take your test. Yeah. yeah. Plot is moving right along, <laughs> and it's fancy free. <laughs> moving right along, Shoop is just hanging out on the beach, eating ice cream, throwing his fucking dog that doll head thing that he's been playing with yep. the whole time. And I was saying to Chris, the way the movie shot, the way they cut the scene, <laughs> like he throws the fucking thing to the dog into the into the ocean, and the dog goes and gets it, and the Can't dog find it. Can't find it, and then it fades, and, like, and yeah, we do like a time passing. Like he drowned in the ocean. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, <laughs> but you see the dog in the next scene, but it's he just comes like back. It's almost like that dog. Did did he die? He, is, like, he, is he okay? You know what I love? I like this. I think the dog might be like my favorite thing in the movie. That's the kind of dog I want. You want that just comes back. That like is so is playful, but he's like not too big, and he's just a nice, calm kind of you know not too. Harassing yeah. kind of dog. He just looks like he could just chill at you. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't jump. He doesn't jump on people. Yeah, doesn't jump on people. <laughs> doesn't lick you. He basically just does whatever I say. I want a very uh, a trained Hollywood dog as my pet. I want to hug a cute dog. You want Lassie? Is what you want. Go get you the newspaper. I can do with that. I can do with that. I got I got two dogs. One one has no eyes. They both have diabetes. You got to give the one with no eyes a break, though. That that one exactly can't right. go get you a can of and beer. He pisses everywhere. I mean, it'll get you the can of beer. Just fuck the brand up, you know. It's still beer. I'll drink it. <laughs> I, you're looking at this dog like, I, I ask you for a beer and you come at me with a light beer. He's not just blind. He has no eyes. They were taken from him, like Robin Hood. Yes. Nice. Blinkin. Duncan. Blinken. Is it Duncan? It's Duncan, Duncan. in the real movie. It's yeah. Blinken in the spoof movie. Or is Blinken, um... Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, summer school. <laughs> My regards. I'm so sorry you've been forgotten. <laughs> All the students are now on board, and they're ready to, um... They're going to go study, oh, man. Study. Study okay. montage. Study montage. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Look where they are. They're, um, the pregnant chick and the and boyfriend, or new boyfriend, are at a kid's soccer training match. Yeah. Dude, there's so much shit going on there? there. You know, the fucking, the, the two movie buffs, they're, they're studying at their job at the photo hut. You know, you've got <laughs> pregnant girl studying at a park. The, the strippers feeling up Christy Alley. He's such a fucking cougar hound. I bet, I bet Christy Alley fucked him. Probably, like man. Guy, like in a trailer. Probably. We're just like. She oh. probably got the most money if she's coming off a year of cheers. Yeah. I bet she did, I bet she did pretty good in this yeah. movie. Probably a nice Her little Mark payday. Um, and so you, you know that, that these kids are just. They're studying so hard that they're just learning. Like, knowledge is just spilling out of their ears. Words are flowing out like endless rain into a paper cup. <laughs> the, you know, like these two kids, the two horror kids, they're like the 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 wolf shirts of today. Like when I was in high school, they'd be wearing wolf shirts. We're gonna compare them to that. <laughs> they're they're obviously not exactly like that, but they, they kind of remind me like this, like the guys who are nice guys. Like I'm a nice guy. Why can't I get a girlfriend? Oh, okay. scream, and then, they, the, then they scream at the girl. Because the wolf shirt thing's totally different category. <laughs> no, I guess you're right. The guy that wore the wolf shirt <laughs> also had like his keys attached to his belt, 
and a fucking <laughs> and he would also have like <laughs> the chain yeah the chain wallet yeah and they would also have like the uh, the beeper for the his, volunteer his, fire department. His buddy is more like that. Yeah. He kind of wears like ooh, kind of weird stuff. Dave, his name is Dave. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fucking fire! The fire department beeper just keeps going off, and you're just looking at the kid like you can't leave school, asshole. So turn yeah. it off. The fire department. Just want you to know that well, he's part of the that fire one. department. I've, yeah, I've seen that fucking kid. <laughs> Holy shit! Love those kids. Come out to be pretty good, though. No, I'm not saying they're bad guys. Yeah. They're just like, you know, they've made a few wrong choices. <laughs> it's probably why they're not getting laid. <laughs> not in high school. Not least. in high school. Cleaning up later when they've got their great job and their retirement package. And I'm putting fucking candy on a fucking shelf. <laughs> you know? <laughs> You're the candy man. I am. I am. I'm the guy that walks in there like, hey, you, you're missing that Nestle's Crunch bar. <laughs> Kids love Nestle's Crunch. What are you, a moron? Get rid of the Skittles. Milk duds. Milk duds. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like the product placement throughout the movie. And like you get to see like the old packaging of things. Like I the love Pop-Tarts, that. the Doritos, the Frito-Lay shit. And... So now it's the day of the big test. Big test. Big test. A student's walking in the door that we haven't hey, seen in a few who weeks. who are you? I'm in this class. Where you been? Oh, I remember you. <laughs> Ken's in the bathroom sign. He, had, he gave him the bathroom pass six weeks ago. And he just came back now. Take the test. Yeah, he's going to do great. Hey, hey, we're testing it here. I know, I'm in your class. I remember you. Where you been? Bathroom. Six weeks? My zipper got stuck. Best uh, joke in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that and the follow-up. The follow-up's the best joke in the movie. That's a gr- the great setup, though. Well, he's in this class because he says the computer made a mistake. Yeah. He was right. Yeah. <laughs> He knew it all along. That's why he didn't show up. Yeah. He just knew the day of the test. Yeah. <laughs> I always hated that in like some colleges where it's like you 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 got graded on attendance as well. Like yeah. You'd lose grade points. I was like, what the fuck? If I come for the tests and let's say you have homework and I just do that, but I don't show up on, you know, enough. What's the difference? I'm paying yeah. you. I never. I always hated that rule. Like, who gives a shit? I had a class where I had an 83 overall test average, but I was given a C minus because I missed six classes. That's garbage. Yeah. That's fucking absolute garbage. Yeah. I was like, you're just. I pissed. can't stand that. You're just pissed that I didn't need to be here. Yeah. You're <laughs> useless. I don't need you. To some degree. If I you, mean, obviously you need the no, teacher. Listen, but it's man. like I don't need you as much as you think. <clears throat> If you're going to test based on the information that is strictly out of the book, That's what I'm then I don't need you. Like, not that I don't yeah, need you. Need you know what I mean? Book. It's like it's like um, if I'm willing to read it, then I'm, it's like I'm Will Hunting. Better. He just needs the book. Yeah, he don't need to teach. He just reads the book. He learns the method and then he figures it out. That's it. So we have a, a, te- a test taking montage. I don't know. Can you call it that? I mean, they're going. Time is no, passing. No, no, no. Because a montage is a long time made into a short amount of time. A study montage is usually followed up um, in a movie with a test-taking montage. Yes. Now, the test-taking montage is really not as it's not as not as much time. There's as no passed. cheating taken on going on, which no. I would have preferred. To tell you the truth, I would have liked to see some of that. These kids are still dirtbags, most of them. Yeah, we're giving them too much credit here. Uh, the one chick it starts having her kid in the middle of the fucking test. There is someone watching. Make yeah. sure they don't cheat. And she's crowning, and she's, she's going. Crowning. And, and <laughs> Yuck. And she's just like C C C C. You gave C. me the willies. A B C D. And remember when you were a kid and you were taking tests and you were doing multiple choice, and you would like get you would start to doubt your answers because, because so many, too many in a row were C or something like I that. I had a teacher who would he'd go. He didn't do it to our class, but he said, like, the year before, he made every answer C, mm-hmm. and it's to see what will happen. <laughs> yeah, and, and you, <laughs> which is very devious as fuck. Uh, Yeah, because you're going to doubt yourself. <laughs> yes, because obviously someone's going to, like, you know, it can't be C again. Yeah. <laughs> like, I know it's the War 1812, but at least 1813 is not C. <laughs> <laughs> So everybody takes the test. Pregnant girl finishes just in time. Rush her to the hospital, and then all the kids are just waiting around to hear the results. Damn, the Italian girl's got really big boobs. A lot of vagina. A lot of. 
I can't stop staring at her. She's gorgeous. <laughs> hot box of rocks. She's a hot box mm-hmm. of rocks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They, they hang out at uh, Mr. Shoop's house. Now, I'd like to ask another question. Waiting for test results. Now, she just. They took the test. Um, oh, this is pretty quick. Yes, they took the test. She leaves to the hospital to have a baby, and now they're back here uh, waiting for the test result. How many days have passed? Um, oh, that's, I'm curious. Yeah, a couple, uh, two days, three she's, days top. She's sitting on that bark bench she like her look, vagina didn't get ripped to like, shit. She doesn't look very pregnant. Like, yeah, you don't just go. <laughs> doesn't just disappear. <clears throat> I would think if you're a woman, I get it. And it's you, a movie; they don't give a shit. Because, I know. <laughs> but would, are you going to choose the woman that just had something come out of her vagina to sit on a on a bench <laughs> like that? You're going to get her a cushion, right? I got to put her on a pole to sit. I didn't on. even think about that. <laughs> She's like sitting on. That's because I'm sick. <laughs> yeah, he looks like he looks at he looks at bushes on '80s women in their underwear for the for the, from the pop out the underwear. <laughs> Creep. I can tell when the. Fun- <laughs> All right, moving on. Moving so, on here. The majority of class fails, is what we're told. Yeah, yeah. And now the principal is going to hear from the students before well, he. The regular principal's back. Now. Yes. Yeah. Before he makes a decision on Mr. Shoop's uh, end, if he's going to. Stay on as a teacher or something. Yeah, despite all the fucking things he did with the, the underage drinking, the party, the <laughs> trips, you know. Uh, so what he's going to do is he's going to have, before he makes his decision, he's going to have the students come in with their parents, and their parents are going to tell him how he thinks they think the teacher, Mr. Yes. Shoop, did. And what come what you come to find out is that yes, most of these kids failed, but they all made significant improvements. I, would one kid go from like a six? To a 54? Yeah, one kid went from like an 18 <laughs> to a 51, and basically the entire class as a whole did 125% improvement. Yes. So that's teaching. Um, and the one kid who went to the bathroom for six weeks, he got a 91. 91. That's a knee slapper. Yeah. But, you know, and then like the two kids that are movie friends, one fails, one gets a 70. One, 70 is passing. Yeah. When is 70 a passing grade? They make. I guess it was. They made it sixty five when we were in school. I guess they they dropped. We must have been extra dumb. They made. Yeah, I guess at least, at least in New York State it was sixty five. It used to be seventy. Yeah. They expected more from the California kids. might be tough because I do know that I think New York and California are really. This is. They ten, still have the region still, test. This is ten years before we were in high school as well. Yeah. They changed their rules. Yeah, this is actually ten years, right before we got there. Because they're not. Because we also had a weird high school system. We're one of the last people to actually have a junior high traditional, like seven to seven to ninth grade, and then ten to twelve. I'm most, not sure. Most I schools always, don't like most to high do school that. has ninth grade is, is yeah. in high school. We weren't. We part just of had that. so many fucking people. We have a very large school district. <clears throat> yeah. Um, that's what they decided to do. Which um, was a gift and a curse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great for athletics. So. All of, everyone's uh, high on passes. Mr. Shoop. Yay! Yay, Mr. Shoop! You got tenure! Shoobe doop, shoobe. <laughs> Whoa. And the movie ends. But it doesn't quite end just yet. With, uh, with Not Rig- before with, Mr. Shoop and Christy Alley hook up. It ends with, with Riggs jumping off a building. <laughs> I love how you can see fucking Christy Alley's nippy nops. She's got uh, no bra on. Yep, you can see her fun bags from here. <laughs> It's a very super happy ending. Making out in the sand. Making out on the beach in your jeans. Chasing the muff around. <laughs> <laughs> and the dog finds his toy. Yay! Summer school. Are you ready for the summer? Are you ready for the good time? time. <laughs> yeah, so... That's summer school. <clears throat> that's summer school. And I'm pretty sure we were as coherent and professional as this movie was. Yeah, it's worth a buy if it's like a buck. Oh, I got this buck, for five bucks. Buck ninety nine. Oh, I, I, got it for I would I would go for less. Well, five bucks is about as cheap. Five as you bucks get it. is about as cheap. As you Brand get it. new, it's correct? Yeah. <laughs> um, I bought that years ago though, like when Walmart first started mm-hmm. doing those five dollar bins. Those bins, yeah. Oh, um, and that's actually like where bins? most of my movies came from in the beginning, because what I would do is every Friday after work I would take uh, twenty bucks and I would go buy four movies. 
out of, out of that bin. And I got a bunch of great shit. I got my Terminator 2 copy in there. I got my all my Beverly Hills Cop, Midnight Run. Now, all the uh, classics. I'm looking at the cover, and it's uh, Mark Harmon and his dog. And they both got sunglasses, the same sunglasses. But is, is his body cut off, or is he laying down? It's only... Uh, <laughs> isn't it kind of weird that, that uh, you really look at it? The, the cover's a little weird. I'll agree. Where's the rest of his body? That's a good question. <laughs> I don't know. If he's laying down, his his whole front shoulders and head are hiding the rest of his body. And it's very it's, it's very strange if you really think about it. You probably shouldn't think about things this deeply. No. I just thought it was funny. <laughs> we don't have any questions this week. No, no. Um, you know what? Actually, we did get a question right before we left. Yeah. Um, to go to Dominican Republic, it was uh, it was from the Rogue Griffers podcast, and they wanted to know what our top five horror movies were. So maybe next time we have to we'll, come up. We'll, we'll, yeah, yeah we'll, I couldn't do it now. Next time we do it, we'll just have it ready for them. Okay. I I will tell everybody right now. My list is gonna bore the shit out of people because it's a very generic like. Yeah, I don't even. I, I can't even think of what mine would even yeah. be. But we'll. I'll, I'll take some time with it. But next time, here are our top five favorite horror movies. <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe one of these days we'll rate the twenty-one games given to us on the Super Nintendo Classic. I can't wait till I can't get it. Yeah, <laughs> I can't wait. That might have been the best joke you ever made. <laughs> I can't wait till I can't get it. That and the uh, the Indian with the the Indian with the jeep and the jacket and the jean jacket. <laughs> I love that joke. And the other one with the hippie that tells you a story that goes nowhere. <laughs> we're gonna make a Chris Deeds highlight reel. Yeah, we're gonna... <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! All right. Um, until next time. If you've seen a bad movie, we're ready to believe you. spent six weeks in the bathroom got a 91 <laughs> but look there's more going on here than test scores and grades you all worked hard and you improved yeah, that's very nice mr Shoot. podtron this has been a podtron network production for more of this show and others like it find podtron on twitter at podtron network and search podtron network on facebook